Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, had to show you my new coach bundle. You can either find it here at the top or you can scroll down and get all the details here. But look at this. It is everything that I offer in one. You're going to get over 200 offense plays, 24 defense plays with tips, explanations, recommendations, 40 drills, 32 practices, 40 plus exclusive videos. That's because I give you my boot camp plus templates and it includes 10 wristbands and my coach's kit you know i love this clipboard and of course you got to have cones and the agility ladder grab that whether you're a new coach or send it over to somebody else who needs this this is the way to go we made it simple on the site if you're 5v5 click here 6v6 it's here 7v7 it's here that is the way to go as always subscribe and you'll get 10 percent off let's jump into this week's video everyone this is coach d and today i have a treat for you look not only is it a beautiful day but today we're talking about defense now everything i'm going to talk about is part of my defense playbook you can go to flag football with coach d go to playbooks and find this i have 5v5 6v6 7v7 so today we're going to talk 5v5 but i have the same exact principles for 6v6 7v7 so not only do i tell you where to put your players but when do i execute each of these formations today because i've been having a ton of these one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with you i'm starting to see some common themes and what i want to say first and foremost when you're thinking about defense is don't change a bunch of things in the middle of the game so if you've always run man to man you need to really practice i'm talking about two to three practices with your team before you just jump into zone and what we're going to talk about today is making adjustments throughout the game. So we're going to go over three formations today. And what I want you to do as a coach is already have two to three adjustments that you're going to make if X happens, if Y happens. If they go out and they score on you right away, don't just change all of a sudden back to man to man. Don't just go to this formation or that because one or two things happen. I want you to at least keep the first series, if not the first half, the exact same. But going into that game, I want you to come up with plan A, which is what you're gonna execute right away. I want you to have plan B, right? Number two, which is basically maybe rotations, adjustments that we'll talk about, little shifts or changes, blitzing versus not, right? It's not monumental changes, right? That you could make if X or Y happens. If you're down 21 zip and it's not even half time, okay, maybe it's time to go to plan B, but have that ready to go. And here's the secret. I need you to practice that with your team. Don't just practice A, 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 right? You wanna make sure that you're also practicing with some of those adjustments already in. So let's go over a couple of our formations here so that you get the basics of it and then some recommended adjustments based off of this. Now, here is a very simple 2-1-2 with a blitzer, a rusher, right? If I didn't have rushing allowed, then I could make the adjustment here. Again, I have this same formation for 6v6, 7v7. You can grab that at flagfootballwithcoachd.com. But here we go. Out on the field, what I've done is we have our line of scrimmage here, and then about three yards off the ball, I have, right, my linebackers here, right? Now they could be a little bit closer, or what I like to do with these guys right here is I like to make sure that they contain the sideline. What I don't want, coach, is I don't want them to be able to get the sideline. So whether it's an RPO, the handoff, anything, I do not want the running back to be able to win the sideline because then there's no way that four or one or three can go over and catch that running back. So what I want these two to do is I want them out a little bit more 
so that they are containing the sideline and forcing that running back to come in. And then you know I'm a big fan of ball, 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 or some kind of communication that when the ball passes the line of scrimmage, then everybody swarms, right? We've seen it, that 49er type swarming defense, that's what we want. So containing, that's what I'm looking for, all right? So I've got those two about three yards off. They're contained over here. Doesn't have to be my strongest athletes, right? If all I want them to do, if they are awesome flag pullers, great. But if they can get in the way, that's what I'm looking for. If you can at least get in the way and contain that sideline, I call it Red Rover, Red Rover, right? I want you to tell your parents, look, all I want you to do is have your son or daughter get in the way all week. Just get in the way. That's all I want you to do. Get as big as you can. That's what I'm talking about here. Then my middle linebacker, which is right here, you can see, this is my blitzer. Now, I do like to have them offset so that what they're going to do is they're going to blitz the quarterback and shut down their strong side, right? So if they are constantly going out this way, I want that blitzer to come this way and block off that strong side. If they are always running out this way, then they would line up over here, get a clear path, and they would run this way. Does that make sense? All right. So either way, I can adjust based off of that. But this is my like rusher. They get big. My son is just an expert at this. You run in, right? You're getting as big as you possibly can. Even if you don't get the flag, you're disrupting it so much, right? And then you slow down right as you get to that quarterback and then you pull that flag. That's what you want. You don't want to race by them and then they just make one move and you're gone like a bull. And then back here, depending on what I have, right? Now I have my, my quarterbacks here, or my safeties, about seven to 10 yards off the ball. And they're responsible for this entire zone. And in other videos, I walk you through the four fundamentals of training a zone defense, where they block the zone, right? They shuffle in the zone, they backpedal in the zone, and then they pursue from the zone. So make sure you watch that video on how to teach this zone. But okay, so now I've got some of this happening, but look at this. Now what I've done is I've opened this up so that there's a middle, wide open. It's a wide open middle. So if for some reason I keep getting attacked here, yeah, sure, I could easily just say, okay, we're not gonna blitz. And blitzer, this is when you blitz, this is when you do not blitz. You need to have that practice. So that could be a quick adjustment, but I need to tell that, this person right here, I need to tell the player when they're going to be blitzing, if it's like every other play, if it's when I feel like it, you need to have a signal for when they're going to blitz and when they're not. Don't just tell them five seconds before the, the snap. They're gonna be like, hey, hey, do I blitz, do I not? And it's just really distracting. So come up with a plan and practice when they blitz, when they do not, if that's an adjustment. If you're not getting any kind of, any, any agitation, if you're not affecting the quarterback at all by blitzing, then you need to make sure that this is covered because then all I would have to do is do a nice quick slant here right then boom I've got a nice reception or my my center could come up really easily turn around and boom I've got a nice reception right so it leaves this wide open so that's a quick adjustment now another adjustment I can make is let's say I go to a two two one with no right I've got no, nothing. All right, they keep on attacking right here. I've got no blitzing whatsoever. I've moved these to the same position, so I'm not doing anything crazy. I would never move a linebacker all of a sudden to my safety position. Those are two different players all together, two different skill sets. Again, I outlined this in my playbook, but two different skill sets whatsoever. So I would make this, these guys are doing the same thing. Maybe they're newer, they're not as skilled, right? So, or, or you know, depending on who they are, maybe they're super incredible at pulling flags up front. That's what I have on my team. Hello, come on now. And then back here, what I've done is I've moved my middle linebacker over to cover this as a cornerback. So now I've moved them over because I'm getting these short passes keep on happening. So I'm taking my number one guy, 
or gal, my safety up here, and now I want them to cover this middle. I'm gonna shut down this middle and force them to go to the outside. Do you see what I've done? So just the, the shift that I've made is I've taken my stronger safety or my stronger cornerback and I've moved them to the middle and I've just shifted things over. Even if I wanted to take three, four to that side and have five now in the middle, they are not gonna attack me in the middle because now I've got full coverage there. So this could easily be an adjustment where I go from two, one, two, to two, two, one, right? Or on six V six, seven V seven, very similar, right? <clears throat> I'm not making monumental changes. That's the deal. You have to control your emotions here. Cause in the middle, if you're 14 zip, if it's 21 zip, you're gonna start freaking out and you're like, well, I've got to change everything. No, you don't. You just make simple adjustments. Maybe stop with the blitzing, maybe shift some things over. Maybe have your star in the middle if they're crushing you right here, right? Still being able to have field awareness to go everywhere if necessary. But those are the type of adjustments that you need to make in the game. And you need to have that planned out beforehand. You've practiced it three or four times. At halftime, you say, okay, we're going with B. We're going with B, we're going the two, two, one. You're going this way, you're going that way. Remember, we've executed this in practice 20 times, boom. It is not if you have been man to man, you go to zone, you try it for two series, then you're like, screw all this, let's go back to what we know. Mm -mm, don't do that, okay? And the last thing I'll show you is you wanna practice your goal line because this may not work, right? You may not be able to work it with just your two, two, one or your two, one, two. You need to have some kind of goal line practiced. So here, what happens here very, very simply is I have everybody about two yards in front of the goal line, right? I want them in front of the goal line. If the goal line is here, let's say, then I need to be in front of the goal line because what usually happens is if I'm in the goal line, the center just has to turn around, stand right here, catch the ball. Even if I pull that flag, it's over. We already know. I also want to make sure that these are staying home. Stay here and have this coverage, both if it's a quick out or if they're trying to do a corner, this three and four are my cornerbacks and they're covering, okay? Now, if I get scored on because they have, they have overloaded this zone. Let's say they have, boom, right? Three people, four people going into this zone, then I might make an adjustment where this one pops back here as well. But I need to have this practiced. I need to have this ready so that when I get to that goal line, whether they are about to score the touchdown, they have a run zone, no run zone, uh, it, all of that needs to be pre-planned, okay? And then if there are adjustments that need to be made, you don't make monumental adjustments. You would just simply shift this up, move this over a little bit, that's it, okay? That's it. So keep your adjustments simple. Have them already pre-planned based off of certain scenarios that could happen. So if I'm down 21 zip, they keep going after this one side, right? If they keep going after this one side, it could be that I have a weak or newer player with a newer player here. Well, why wouldn't I go after this? Of course I'm gonna go after this. So then I would switch some things. This person knows how to handle this area over here as well. So I would just make that adjustment to switch them over. This is the stronger with the weaker, all right? So now I've made that adjustment or okay, I'm not gonna blitz, I'm gonna move this one over here and I've got coverage. Or if they really are taking advantage, maybe I'll move to my 2-2, two -two, right? Now I've got this going on and, and now I've shifted it just a little bit. But emotionally, I breathe because I know I walk in with my clipboard ready to go no matter what's gonna happen, there's probably three scenarios that could happen in the first half, and I'm gonna make my adjustments accordingly.
I've got my rotations. I know who is going to be in which position. And I'm never going to put like my linebacker who it may not have a lot of speed. They're not ready to go. Uh, you know what? They said they want to be uh, in the back. Let's put them in the back. Why not? No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Uh, if you haven't practiced that over and over, in practice, hey, give them a shot. Let's see, you know, see if they can absolutely do it. If you're way ahead, man, put everybody in any position, totally sure. But what I would do is come up with my game plan one, come up with my game plan two or B, and then even have a third scenario, a third adjustment that I could make. No monumental change, keep your head, right? Have it prepped and planned. Now look, if you want to work with me, go to Flag Football with Coach D. I am working with coaches all the time. I'll work with you for 30 minutes or for an hour. Just go to Work with Coach D and you and I can hook up and go over your entire game plan. You can grab this playbook at flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Click on Playbooks. You'll see defense. You can get my clipboard. You can get all these cones. You can get my wristband. Everything. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.